So, right now it's a Thursday night, and this is my newest S10, hopefully my last one. Black extended cab, V6, it's really nice, because I crashed the last one and totaled it. But, in the time I've owned it, which has only been about a month now, I already put a roll pan on it, and I bought lowering blocks and lowering spindles. But I haven't gotten the spindles yet, but I'm too excited to not install the blocks right now. And it's four inches on the blocks, and it's going to be two inches on the spindles. And then I'm going to use the wheel and tire combo to level it out when I'm done. So it's going to sit nose high for a little while. But uh, I was too excited to wait, so we're going to do this. Alright, it is now Friday night, and this is my second attempt at doing... Uh, my lowering kit and back here I actually have my spindles because they showed up today but uh, I might not get much progress done today either because the reason why I stopped yesterday was to uh, keep the noise down because breaking loose those u-bolts is really loud so we'll see what I get done today That's not going to work. Okay. So, here's the uh, drop blocks. You just put them between the uh, spring and the axle there. They come with long U-bolts for reattaching and new hardware. But uh, one thing to notice is they got that little lean on them. That's so that after moving such a great amount upwards, you can tilt your axle back forward so that your pinion angle is the same as it was beforehand, making it so that you don't destroy U bolts or U joints just going down the road. So what I'm going to do now is just shove one in one set at a time because that axle wants to wrap forward so bad with the jack under there, probably because of the weight of the drive shafts pulling it down so that's what I'm gonna do in before I try making that side line up. It's probably got something to do with why it's not.
not just look amazing? So much lower. Very, very low. I bet you I could put the tires back on without having to lift the truck up any higher. <coughs> Just gotta finish up here. I'm also going to say that uh, I'm probably going to have to retorque these like three, maybe four times because I do believe that the uh, bolts are going to flatten out right in here and hug the axle better as time goes on because right now they keep a little gap in there even though I got them tightened down as hard as I can get them with just the ratchet. Tomorrow I'm going to see if I can borrow uh, a deep well half inch drive socket so that I can run them down on the torque wrench and get an exact or pretty close to exact number and you know run them down as tight as I feel is necessary which probably be over 140 foot pounds but now we're getting to the point where we put on the tires and we lower her back down see what she looks like Well, I guess that's going to help settle in those new U-bolts. But oh man, she's low now. Ooh, I love it. It's just in the back right now, but there'll be more come tomorrow. That's all I'm going to do for tonight because it's really late and I'm tired and I've had a whole long day. So, we'll resume tomorrow. So all I've done today so far is uh, just take the wheels off, but uh, it's Saturday morning and I'm going to try to get this done today.
there's the old one. And there's the new one. Concludes the install for the passenger side spindle, and I'm going to leave it at that for right now. And I'm going to go work on the driver side all by myself, and then I'll get you back out here when she's ready to place on the ground because it's pretty much the same process side to side, and I'm not really trying to make a how to so. That there is two inches taken out of the front and four inches taken out of the rear. Very pretty. 